Hello, welcome to App Office. It's my new channel. Doing like let's say social experiment. We'll do some five, ten, maybe more number of good, interesting videos. And if I will get will get back reasonable feedback, probably we'll keep going. But let's see what we have today. We have Azrock. X670 Steel Legend. Right, I have to say it's <clears throat> one of the cheapest, more affordable X670 motherboards. And I had uh, so many other boards before, and I always absolutely love them. So, let's begin hey. to unbox it. Let's unbox it and see what we got. So it's saying DDR PCI Gen 5 socket AM5, so it's all 7000 series Ryzen CPUs. What do we have in here? Front USB 3 2 Gen 2 X2, rear. Well, it's all. All things is inside. What do you expect? It's saying supports memory up to 6600. That's what we're gonna see. How good is with the memory? Because uh, I have 6200, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that would be nice if this board can actually work with full speed of that. So, let's open it up. Oh, it's actually quite heavy. Itself. Let's put it by the side and see what else is in the box. Right. What we got in here? Oh, that's nice. Two cable tie zips. And it's actually quite a nice one. Really lovely one. Alright, we go SATA cable. Oh, there's two SATA cables, right? One is with the angle, one is straight. That's nice. Then we have antenna for the Wi-Fi. It's claiming how 6E Wi-Fi. And that's some bracket. I believe it could be for the GPU support. Right? And then we go screws. Oh, that's nice. We go uh, Azure keyboard button. And all kind of screws for. I believe and the two drives to support that. Right. That's what we call this. Let's close it. Oh, that's the same. Okay. And then what else left? There's just the just the manual. Some postcard. Steel Legend postcard. That's a nice touch. Don't know if anyone will actually use it. Um, well, and that's it. So let's go for the board now. Right. I'm 
really like that they packed it so nice. I believe. Uh, excuse me, I will just take a chip. All right. I believe this is really one of the best budget boards at the moment. Hopefully, it will come down in the price even more later on. And to be honest, I, I think actually all of them will do because um, the B series cheaper board is starting to come out now already. But <clears throat> I believe this board is worth a little bit extra than B series because you still have that X670 chipset. And if you plan to keep this board for a little longer than uh, just uh, one or two years and uh, upgrade next generation CPUs then obviously it makes some sense right let's see if I have some scissors because there is a cable ties attached Actually, not that big at all. Not that big at all. Right, there is a metal plate. Right, okay. So we have one and the two, and I believe. Let me check. second one and that's the third one so three and the twos well to be honest for <coughs> professionals who need a lot of storage it's not a lot because in my another motherboard I have I believe one two three four five six six and the twos wait twice as much but yeah, it's uh, DRX40 um, Asus for Threadripper. It's kind of professional one. Uh, I will definitely uh, make uh, another video comparison how this board um, is uh, against the Threadripper board and Threadripper power. How good is it? Because uh, I know it's two different categories. Threadripper is like a workstation and it's massive, it's cost as well, like three times the money. Uh, but because it's new generation and 7,000 7, CPU, uh, 7950 70, X, I will put it in and we'll see comparison with the speed. Uh, I believe it will be a lot better, especially in the uh, single core performance, the way um, Windows responsiveness and stuff, that's what I am expecting. But <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure how reasonable is upgrade if you go 5000 series Ryzen's because I have 5000 series Ryzen as well in the kitchen my wife is playing it well like playing games with it um, and it's really really nice it's really nice and I can't see big reasons why anyone else how to upgrade from that but my Threadripper 3000 series 
I believe I got 3000, 3000, 3960X CPU, Threadripper, 24 cores, 48 threads, um, and I can feel in 4K in games that um, my GPU is not utilized by 100%. And, and that's with the 3080 Ti. And if I will put, let's say, 30, uh, no, 4090, then the thread input definitely is not making any sense, that system for, for, for that video card, 4090. So if, I will, if I'm going now for the best one, 7950X and DDR5 and 4090, Will that make a big difference than Threadripper and 3080 Ti? That's a good question. And I will make this that video to, to see comparison. But let's see this board now. So, chip, battery, right. PCI Express, right, that should be the uh, PCI Express 5.0. Right, memory A1, A2, B1, B2, standard, standard memory, right, we got RGB headers, fan headers, motherboard power, oh, that's, that's interesting, we got another two slots for the CPU power, uh, to be honest, the heating on, on VR arms looks really nice and solid. And I saw another um, small review on YouTube regarding this board and seems like it's really enough for what you need, even if you put the best of the best 7950X. So, to be honest, I, I, I don't know why you should pay more if you get the same performance out of it and by the rumors oh, that the best is to a bit um, underworld that CPU to get the best uh, performance out of it because if it's not doing 95 degrees constantly then then it's uh, sitting around 70 plus it's using like really like hundred watts more or something like that uh, not more or less sorry so yeah so nothing much to say about this there is all usual sim similar things as any other board there's nothing really crazy about it so type C gen 2 front panel thing USB 3, USB 2, fan headers, let's see how many fan headers there is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 fan headers, uh, I think it's plenty, it's way more than enough, right, so that's what I believe is the audio things. Right, um, PCI small so another big one. So what it is, if if I will have not enough place for M.2 NVMEs, I call expansion card and I can always chunk it in, in this slot. Even if I call, let's say, 4090, I believe I still, I know it's chunky card, I still believe I will have space to put card in here, one card in here, and expand my M.2s if, if I will need it, so it's not a big issue, right, what else I might be forgetting, like RGB, 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 LED, that's it, audio, LED panel right 
so there was not much going on so thanks for watching for unboxing video um, please subscribe and look for my next videos how I will be doing with this board against the threaded processor and uh, the thing is I, I will tell you all my honest experience and what I think doesn't mean it's correct it's my just my opinion uh, someone might have different opinions that's fine I'm just saying what's how I feel by using this new technology is it worth any upgrades from uh, previous generations or generations before that is it really that fast is it really that snap snappy in the windows we will see that okay uh, thanks for watching for now and please keep tuned for the next videos will be interesting